today is my birthday, May 21st. Today is Sunday and I'm pretty much just spending the day alone. I intentionally wanted to spend my 30th birthday alone because I feel like I've always been yearning for people to make me feel special on my birthday. Doing extra stuff, surprising me and all of that. And I don't want to seek that outside of myself anymore. I don't want to seek happiness, love, celebration, all of that outside of myself. I want to do it for myself. So um, I actually had plans to take myself out to dinner last night. And then today I was supposed to go beach hopping. If you know me, you know the beach is my happy place. So I was going to, you know, go to Hotel on the Key, go to West Beach, and just really vibe and relax and enjoy the ocean, enjoy some vitamin C and some vitamin D. But um, nothing actually went as planned, per se. And I did not go to dinner last night, not because I didn't want to, but because stuff happened. Emotions were high yesterday. I was very in much in, in my feelings yesterday, and I spent last night crying nonstop, just crying, like bawling. And uh, not because I'm turning 30, because I'm actually excited about turning 30. I look forward to see what my 30s bring me. I spent the majority of my 20s taking care of others, putting everybody else first, being pregnant, breastfeeding, nurturing, taking care of a grown ass man, grieving. Like I spent the majority of my 20s doing everything but taking care of myself. So I'm excited to turn 30. Unlike other women who are scared to say their age or dread turning 30, I am actually very excited about turning 30. I'm very happy that I'm here and alive to even see 30. So that's not the case. That's not why I was crying last night. Without going into too much details, what I would say is that I had an epiphany last night and that was only the people you care about, only the people that you love and hold very close to your heart can hurt you. Only those people have the power to hurt you. And my feelings were very hurt yesterday. It was very much hurt i was sad i was sad i didn't want to be sad i didn't want to cry i didn't want to be in my feelings because i wanted my spirits like i my spirits has been up and high and my energy has been great because like i said i've been looking forward to my 30th solar return but yesterday like i allowed people to dampen my spirit i allowed people to um make me feel lesser than i allowed people to question my abilities as a mother and uh, i cried last night because of that because i don't want to give anyone that power but the truth is they had that power because there are people i love there they are people that i care about and they are people that hold a very dear part in my heart and um with that being said i wouldn't say my biggest lesson but a very big lesson that i've learned is be careful who you love be careful who you love and give your energy to be careful who you allow into your secret space because it's the people closest to you who has that power to hurt you if a complete stranger lies to you it does not affect you the way it would if someone you love lies to you you know so be careful who you love be careful who you allow to um affect your emotions or be careful who you give that power to you know and when i say give that power to it doesn't mean that you doesn't have you don't have the power it just means that you've opened a part of yourself so vulnerable to these people that they now have access to your vulnerability you, they have access to affect your energy and affect your mood so be careful and with that being said, it took a lot to dig myself out of that that sadness this morning because I didn't want to spend my solar return sad. I even have like a slight headache right now from all of the crying I did last night, but I'm not going to let that ruin my day and I'm not going to let that keep me in a low vibrating mode. So I just took myself out to brunch and I enjoyed it, daring into the ocean. And now I'm going home to change and breastfeed my baby and then i'm going to hotel on the key and i'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my day and see where it takes me but um i'm happy you know and although things are gonna happen in life that give you these moments of feeling down i must say that i am happy overall i am happy and i am grateful to be able to say that today because at one point i was not happy at one point i was actually very miserable so uh, I don't even know where I'm going with this video but it's my birthday 
and if you're watching this and want to wish me happy birthday do so by taking care of yourself practicing self-care that is what my 30s is about is about putting me first is about doing all the things that i usually expect others to do for myself doing it for myself like taking myself out buying myself flowers buying myself gifts i bought myself a very nice birthday gift i'll show you all in an in another clip but i am gonna do for me what i've been seeking outside of myself for so long it took me 30 years to get it 30 years can you believe that but i get it i get it and um, i'm gonna do better this next decade is gonna be amazing this next decade is gonna be full of abundance and prosperity and i am going to pour into myself and pour into others because i'm gonna have such an overflow that i'm gonna be able to give and that's all i want all month all i've been trying to do no all i've been doing is pouring into me i've been practicing self-care and self-love on a level that i didn't even know exists and i'm i love that for me i love that so celebrate my solar return with me by practicing self-care you know go get that massage go to the acupuncturist go to the chiropractor you know go to the beach relax meditate listen to music dance sing do whatever makes you feel good because self-care is not just going to get your nails done and getting your hair done putting in your weave that's not like for women we tend to take that as self-care and then cut it off self-care is not just drinking a glass of wine self-care is taking care of your mind soul and body in a way that makes you feel good makes you look good makes you glow on a whole different level so i think that's it that's what this video is about i want to encourage everyone to practice self-care and self-love and never ever feel guilty for putting yourself first because you have to put yourself first in order to give to anyone else i'm a mother of three and i found that this month i've been so much more patient with my children i've been so much more present with them because i haven't been frustrated i haven't been easily irritable and that's because i've been pouring into myself so i'm gonna continue that it's not going to just stop after my, my solar return. I'm going to continue doing that because I'm a much better me for myself and for my children because of it. So um, I'm going to just go with the flow today and enjoy my day. And uh, I don't know if this is just going to be it for the video, if I'm going to record some more. But comment below how you practice self-care. Comment below what is one thing you're going to do that you've never done or been wanting to do to pour into yourself anyways to all of my melanated women protect your womb by any means necessary and to everyone watching protect your peace by any means necessary i wish you all love light and prosperity and you'll see me in my next video peace <laughs> going to nurse my baby before I go to a hotel on the key but I just wanted to show my birthday gift to myself it's a Maldivite stone and another chain Make sure you don't.
don't cut yourself like you were doing my son yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Make sure you don't cut yourself like you were cutting my salad yesterday. Because I cut my nail when I was cutting his salad yesterday. So he's saying don't cut yourself because you cut yourself yesterday. <laughs> so, what do I have? Swisha! Got some cute workout clothes. Yeah! No! Lighting is horrible, but it's getting dark outside. The sun just set, and <clears throat> I am heading to my sister's house to feed my child. So, my little beach day is over. Um, everybody and their grandmother was at the beach today. Like, this was like a designated beach day. I mean, usually the beach is full on Sundays but this is like this was like next level like everybody decided to have a party on the beach today 
So I had to first I went hotel on the key and it had a lot of people on over there. Well at least a lot of people for me. It had a lot of people there but um most of them was like in the restaurant area so I was still able to find a little piece a little corner to myself because if you know me you know I don't like a crowded beach and um so I enjoyed my time there I ate my lunch took a dip just vibe like I was just really gazing into the sea a lot today but um I had to finish my day in the west because there's nothing like west beach and i also wanted to see the sunset but it's funny because the, the, the sky i can't talk the sky was clear it's crazy like i don't know if y'all could see all the amount of cars like it's so many people in west beach right now and if over here look like this i know rainbow side look ridiculous too but um what was i saying my train of thought oh yeah i had to finish my beach day in the west because i wanted to watch the sunset the skies were clear in east like i could have seen the sun clearly the sky was clear everything <coughs> although i did see them polluting the air it's this long chemtrail but when i came to the west it's like you can't even see the blue sky and it's just this thick layer covering the sky and the sun so the sun was setting but you couldn't really see it however i just found a spot on the beach that um was empty which is an area where you can't really go in the water you probably can go in the water but it's so much rocks that i wouldn't try climbing over all those rocks to go in so i um i just set up on the sand and played some music and did a quick little flow yoga flow and um, I danced a little <laughs> just enjoying my own company to be honest and um, recorded a little bit of my flow just to capture some pictures and um, that was it like there's nothing like West Beach like I love West Beach I don't know I could never get tired of coming to the West for the beach and um, Something just dawned on me when I was driving off because it's like a reminder to myself to not expect me from other people. That was one of, that was another big lesson that I learned. I wouldn't say now, but like, yeah, within the past year and a half, I learned that I have to stop expecting me from other people. And as you know, today is my solar return and somebody that i consider a very close friend i was like expecting them to at least give me a phone call you know like thank you for the text but for me a phone call is more meaningful and i got a text which is fine at least you remembered but it was still a little disappointing anyways that's neither here or there my point is where the hell am i did i take a wrong turn i took a wrong turn i'm hitting a dead end because i busy running my mouth now i gotta try and turn around here anyways i just came back on here to pretty much wrap up my day and let you all know what all i did i um went hotel on the key like i said then I came down west to watch the sunset, which I couldn't really see, but I just enjoyed my time on the beach and I vibed. And um, going to the beach for myself is something I always do. It's something I enjoy doing and I like to do it alone, but I just realized that, and I, I want to take my children to the beach more often, but because they're all still so young, I am literally scared to take all three of them to the beach by myself so I'm always relying on somebody to go with me when it comes to taking them and that's not always convenient so I was just thinking like I can't wait for the baby to get older to where I could just manage taking all three of them to the beach by myself and I know it sounds crazy like why she can't take the, her children to the beach by herself but there's all three young children so you can't just have like I can't just have three of them in the water without 
making sure they're safe, which is another issue because I want to put them in swimming classes. Anyways, whatever. But my point is, I want to take them to the beach more often and summer is here and that is going to be one of my goals, to take them to the beach more. Where am I? I'll go this way. I just drove around in a whole circle getting lost or something. I don't usually drive this way so I am a little bit confused in terms of where I am. But um anyways that's the end of my day. Right now I'm driving to my sister house. It's time to feed the baby. It's been time to feed the baby. But he's been so good today and I'm grateful for the time that he allowed me to have to myself. And uh, to be honest, I have a slight headache. And I think, I think it's mainly from the crying I did last night. <laughs> and um, maybe I didn't drink enough water today because the only water I drank today was this bottle. So I'm gonna go home once I get things situated. I'm gonna go home, heat up some tea because I made some tea this morning. I'm gonna heat up my tea, I'm gonna take a shower, start to wind down. I have to get the boys ready for school tomorrow in terms of getting their clothes and their lunch and snacks situated. I should go on the highway. Ooh, let me go, let me go, let me go. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm grateful for today. And um, I'm gonna continue celebrating my birthday for the rest of the month. So, uh, I have a little rate. Ooh, that's... Only on St. Croix do they just dig up perfectly good roads and then don't fix them. Only on St. Croix. Anyways, how much time have I said anyways? What was I saying? Yeah, I'm gonna continue celebrating my solar return for the rest of the month. Celebrating me, pouring into me, and implementing my self-care practices throughout my life. Like, I am committing to having one chiropractor, one acupuncture, and one massage a month. That is my commitment to myself. Oh yeah, I have a little a Reiki session tomorrow. And I think that's the last of my series of appointments and self-care appointments I had for the month. So I wanna go to the beach a few more times this month. Yeah, that's about it. I enjoyed my day. I full enjoyed my day. I enjoyed my own company. And I am happy I was able to enjoy my own company. Because some people, they feel like they can't do things by themselves. But I love to be alone. I'm a loner. <laughs> no, not in that sense. No, let me not say that. That's going into a whole other topic. I enjoy my own company. However... I don't want to be alone <laughs> relationship wise I don't want to be alone I know that I don't want to be alone but I don't want to be in a relationship right now that's what I'm gonna say so it's another thing I was meditating on today it's just that like when the universe when the most high do bless me with a king man again I want him to be thoughtful I want somebody who listens to me intentionally I was literally meditating on that today and I say that because I realized that was something that was missing like I would talk and say things and he's listening but he's not listening or it's like he's hearing me but he's not listening like, I don't want to have to ask you to do things or ask you to do nice gestures for me. <laughs> do nice gestures for me. Why can't I pronounce that word? I want you to listen to me and then be th do thoughtful things based on things you've heard me said. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, whatever. We're not getting into that. I enjoyed my day. Tonight and try to get rid of this little headache that I have and get some rest. I hope y'all enjoyed me rambling. Sorry about this bad.
quality right now the it's like kind of blurry and then the lighting is bad it's making me look crazy but i enjoyed my day so to all my melanated women watching protect your womb by any means necessary and to everybody watching protect your peace by every means necessary by any means necessary i can't talk to them son. wow this is what happened when you turn 30. <laughs> i wish you all love light and prosperity and you will see me in my next video peace oh, no, in a house, and we say